Chris. I'm here with my colleague, Scarlett Sieber. She's the VP of Operations and the co-founder of the company. Uh, the problem that we're going to talk about is actually a really big problem that most people do not realize we have. Now, we would all agree that online, there is information overload. It's really hard to find the inform information that you want. What a lot of people don't realize is that a lot of the reason for that is because what we do online is mostly based on text. So whether you're looking at social news, search, email reviews, yes, videos are great, pictures are great, but almost 90% of what we do online is based on text. And the problem is that we as human beings do not do very well with large amounts of text. So what do we do about that? The solution that we have is called Infamous. And in a nutshell, it works like this. You choose the information that you care about, whether it's email, search, news, blogs, whatever you want to that's based on text. And then we use our proprietary algorithms to give you a visual snapshot of what is trending within that content. And then you click on the topics that are interesting to you, and you find a list of articles or blogs or tweets that are related to that topic. So that's our, our tagline. We show you what's trending, and you choose what's relevant. Now, the, the, as they say, a picture is worth a thousand words. In this case, a word cloud is worth a thousand words. So I'm going to switch out of, uh, let's see if this works gracefully. So uh, OK, here we go. So let me give, show you the first example. This is today's world news. And it's actually live right now. So if you want to see what's going on in Russia and the Ukraine, or if you want to see what's going on with Obamacare, we click that. And we see a number of articles that have to do with, for example, Blue Cross Group sees Obamacare premium payments at 80 85%. And you'd be amazed how many times I go online and I see something that just happened that nobody knew about, whether it's a tsunami or an earthquake or anything like that. Uh, and a different example is something that we did just to show you how flexible it is. We took a couple of feeds. One of them was the feed from the website for this event. And we also took some of David Beatty's uh, uh, tweets and put them in here. So you can see actually his name, which we highlighted in yellow. And if you click on that, you can see a recent tweet. Okay. Uh, a third example is that we also took, again, pick, uh, picking on David just because we happen to know some people that he's invested in. We're friends with Crimson Exit on their one of our partners. And uh, so we took uh, some uh, Golden Seed members uh, tweets and we showed a cloud here where you can see of course the word women is very prominent in their uh, in their tweeting and that's not so surprising now who benefits from using this and it turns out that there are two groups of people which essentially is everybody there are those who look for information online how do they benefit they benefit because they spend less time looking for information and more time consuming the information that they want and those other people that benefit are the people that are actually creating content so publishers uh, Twitter anyone anybody that basically creates a lot of content online they engage their users more effectively, and they give them easier access to more of their content. Now, one big question is, does this really work? We did a timeline, what we call a timeline cloud, or a time traveler, where we took articles, about 5,000 articles from 2013 on USA Today. This is live on USA Today. And then week by week, you can scroll through and see what happens. Let me show you what that actually looks like. This is live on USA Today. So here we go, and we're looking at the first week of January of last year. Everybody was worried about the fiscal cliff. Now we go, for example, to April. And people are talking about the Boston Marathon bombings. <laughs> and we go back to September, October, and we had, uh, you know, the government shutdown was the big deal. Now, how well did this cloud do when it was on USA Today? So we got 26% engagement, meaning that almost 30% of the people that went on the page clicked on at least one word, 10% click-through rate, and almost 10 minutes average time on page. And these numbers are pretty astronomical if you know much about how these things work. So yes, it really works. What are we doing with it? We have had a number of early success kind of beta trials with primarily publishers. We also looked at the enterprise space and the social media space. We're now focusing on publishers. This is our growth curve. We decided here to focus on publishers. And what happens is that we get a viral effect. So people see it on one publisher, then they go and you can find it embedded for free, and then we get more and more traffic. And we have some great monetization opportunities that we're just starting. We now have a module where you can actually see co promoted content that people click on it and we make money on it. So we have a master plan. We want to start with publishers. We're doing something similar to Outbrain. And then we're going to go to consumers. We're projecting about $300 million a year in five years. So the next time, this is our team. It's gender balanced. And uh, <laughs> very quick, we actually have now two women on the management team. And uh, so from now on, when you see text, think infamous. Thank you. Good.